can see on the UAV Onyx, uh, it's plus one, 2600 altitude, there's my altimeter. And what I'm going to do is just get a current altimeter in the area, 3009, press it once, 3009. Uniform traffic, Skylake and 4, Tango Romeo, 5 to the north, inbound for landing, clock. And uh, 3009 on the last one, here we go. And it'll cause Denson's uh, about 2 miles to the south. We're just maneuvering 2,500. Good to hear you up. Eight. That would be Justin. All right. So right now. Hey James, been, could you get down to Pierce County? Uh, did I do what? Was Pierce County socked in? I'm sorry, what about, oh, it is socked in? I'm not sure. It looks a little crummy over there. Why, why are you asking? Uh, heading over next to drop something off. Okay, speaking a little too quickly, say again? Oh, no reason, just asking. Have a, have a good flight. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's much better on this side of the Cascades right along here. Okay, I see your wigwags now. All right, here's Justin coming up on the wigwag. Yeah, I'd say Thunfield is uh, overcast, maybe broken at about seven, 800 feet, but the uh, visibility is great beneath that layer. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. on so you can see me. I don't know if you can see, but right about there is Justin, the 185. Anyway, the Stinson continues to, to fly really nice. Um, very good motor. Um, produces lots of power for its size for the cubic inch, 335 cubic inch. This guy 400 above, so I got him in sight, and he's right there, probably right behind that compass. Uh, Don Gillamit down in Oregon built my engine, and he did a really nice job. It's a nice tight motor, it spins really good. Enumclaw traffic, Skywagon 4, Tango Romeo is final, and then 07, full stop, Enumclaw. Eater call traffic, Skyhawk 91 Alpha. Got the landing traffic in sight, will be number two behind you for a landing runway seven. We're about uh, eight miles out. Eater call. All right, very good. Dismissed traffic in sight. All right, so what I'm going to do now is sync my DG to my compass. So I'm going to go to DG mode one, two. And right now I'm on a zero, zero, two degrees, so I'm going to press it one time. Sync it to zero, zero, two. Uh, it's close enough. So, and then you press it twice and you got the heading book. So I'm just going to hold the heading and we're just going to track it. Alright, we'll see how well it does between the compass and the DG. I'm just going to pick a saddle up on one of the ridge lines and that's going to be my course. And we'll see how well it tracks. So right now we'll just hold that course steady. Show pretty much a 360 up there. Traffic. Just go back here and just bug this again. Bug it. You've got traffic, Skyhawk 5191 Alpha. There you go, so it's 360, On 360. Five mile final for runway 7, you pop. Full stop. Uh, this particular course is uh, GPS track inside the ADI. I'm, I'm just flying that saddle, so I know I'm on a correct course. Compass is showing 360, here's 360. And we'll see how well it holds up. Uh, there's a new certified component called the AV Mag, and it goes in the wing, and it's basically a magnetometer. So eventually I'll put that in here just for grins. That'll be large, part of a larger project to remove the ADF and the, uh, and, uh, 
transponder. I'll put a mode S transponder on the tail, which is uh, ADSB out uh, transponder. Yeah, I think they call it the uh, tail beacon X. I'm still flying that uh, that saddle right there, 360. It's as close as you're going to find anywhere. And I got the power back. I'm back 2600, burning uh, 9.4 on the uh, InSight engine monitor. Turn this uh, light off. I got the heat on full, and it's very comfortable in here. I'm getting heat on both sides. Substance and owners have put a different windshield. It's a one piece that got rid of the center bar. If I ever have to do that, that's definitely what I'm going to do. Then I'll put the compass back here on the dash. But the compass is up here now uh, to get rid of anomalies uh, that work that don't work too well on the dash. Uh, this is a newer compass. Um, it's a dry compass. There's no fluid in it. We call this the vertical compass. It's been working really good. All right, already made a radio call. There's a few aircraft in the pattern. Not in the pattern, but in the area, I should say. And in a traffic, Stinson's overhead. We'll be entering right traffic landing east in a And you can see Mount Rainier is right there, and it's blocked by the upper clouds. We're back to about 2,500 RPM. All right, let's go ahead and switch tanks. We'll go to the left tank. We'll leave everything else alone. Inamqua, traffic extends to 6966 Mike, turning right down when landing east, Inamqua. And you can see those clouds out there. They're kind of socking things in just to our west, so I don't want to get too far from here. This time of year, it can kind of close on you pretty quick. All right, just transition through the no-fly speed is 2100 RPM. And the carb temperature is still at 48 degrees, so it's still nice and warm. All right, we kind of hold that altitude, bleed off some airspeed. You've got traffic since it's turning right base, landing east. All right, here comes a notch flap. Let me go a second notch flap. There's my field. All right, carb heat is on, mixture is rich. Oh, overshot final, just a bit. Here we go. All right, full flap. And we're going to check, 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 check. One, two, one, two. We're going to slip it. Full right rudder. Take some of that aileron out. Now we're descending 800 feet a minute, not really increasing speed. You know, quad traffic stints is final landing east. Okay, that's starting to come into path, so we'll take that slip out. Start working on that airspeed control. Everything's done. All right. So a little more fast than I'm comfortable with, so we're going to bring that airspeed off. There we go, right about there. Power to idle. Oh, my camera fell. There we go. Ah. Eight mil area traffic, RV nine seven Echo Echo is two miles out to the north, inbound for runway three four full south east. And we can start leaning again. Don't flop. So I need to get a more robust mount.